guys welcome to motivational Monday today I want to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart and that's being a judgment free zone I feel like a lot of times um, we as a society and especially we as Christians judge others um, when it's not really necessary to do so um, it is something that I sometimes catch myself doing and I work really hard to be a judgment-free zone for other people because at the end of the day, if it doesn't impact me, why should I have an opinion on someone else's life or someone else's choices if it has nothing to do with me? Um, and I'm very big on owning your truth. So if you have the courage to own your truth, who am I to judge you for it? I don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. So my judgment is really and truly not necessary. Um, one, a lot of times uh, people in the religious sector tend to judge uh, on behalf of God and kind of stamp Jesus' name on it. When I feel like our purpose on this earth is to show God's love, not his condemnation. Because God is a forgiving God, and so we're judging people for for something that God has already forgiven them for. But we're pushing people away because we're judging them, as opposed to loving them, really and truly. At the end of the day, even outside of the religious aspect of it, judgment just isn't right. Like, it's not fair. You don't have any qualifications to judge another person for their decisions, for their choices, for what, who they are. At the end of the day, we have no right to judge each other. And so what I would like to challenge everyone to do is to just honestly and truly work on not forming opinions about things that have nothing to do with you. Now, it's very difficult because far too many times... Um, we get caught up in judgment without even realizing that we're judging someone. For example, ooh, that shirt's too tight. Why her hair look like that? She need to get her nails done. And these are all judgments that I'm guilty of because I would judge you on your nails. Hello. I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it, guys. So step one is recognizing that we're guilty of judging others on things that have nothing to do with us. Far too many times we judge people on their race, on their sexual orientation, on their religion, or lack thereof, on their marital status, how many kids they have, their income levels. We judge people all the time, good, bad, or indifferent, when it's really just not our place. So what I would like for us to all work towards is A, recognizing that we're all capable and we all are guilty of judging others. But then start to work on it. Being self-aware doesn't really do much if you're not doing something about it. It's one thing to know what your flaws are, and it's another thing to recognize that these are my flaws, but this is what I'm willing to do about it. Um, it's it's such a critical thing to have action behind your self-awareness. Because if you can know that this is a problem for you and not do anything about it, what's the point of knowing that it's a problem? Case in point, you'll have people who say, this is just the way I am. Why? It doesn't have to be that way. That's something you can work on. It's something you can fix. If you're not happy with being that way, do something about it. You have to actively work towards fixing it. That's what I'm hoping that we all do and that we all work towards checking ourselves. Because at the end of the day, yes, we may judge others, but we can be judged for the same thing. And oftentimes, the thing that we're judging so critically is something that we're either guilty of ourselves or is an insecurity that we haven't processed on our own. Really and truly. So you can't throw glass, you can't throw stones in a glass house. 
point blank period because at the end of the day we all have flaws we all have faults we all have things that we don't do perfectly and we all have insecurities so pointing out someone else's flaws or faults or insecurities is pointless at the end of the day worry about yourself and as you begin to focus on what are my flaws, what can I improve upon, what can I do, and use that energy wisely, you won't have time to notice somebody else's flaws. You just won't because you're worried about yourself and improving and developing and growing into being a better person, right? Right. <laughs> so with that being said, um, I really hope this helps somebody. I hope, I hope that it helps open up your eyes to what we need to do as a culture. But even more so, I want to say this for people who feel judged a lot. Other people's opinion of you is not your business. Other people's opinion of you is none of your business. Once you get that, their judgment doesn't matter anymore. I actually had the conversation with one of my associates earlier this week. I'm like, I know you personally have said things about me to damage my character. It's come back to me and I've heard it. But your opinion doesn't matter to me. As long as my check clears, <laughs> like you can say what you want, good, bad, or indifferent. It does not matter. Because at the end of the day, I know who I am, I know what my strengths are, and I know what my weaknesses are, and I know what I'm doing about fixing my weaknesses. So, once you accept that other people's judgment and criticisms and all of that just doesn't matter, it's such a freeing experience for you. And that's what I want for you guys, okay? Alright, have a great one, and I will see you next week. Leave your comments below.